dishies welcome back to dot likes red i have a haul today from a few different thrift stores from goodwill i think i have one thing from salvation army one thing from my nci um store i like to go to so come along with me and i'll show you what i have I got at Goodwill. It's a White Castle mug. Thought it was really cool. I like the blue bands. We don't have White Castle out here in California. Well, not that I know of anyway. Hamburger specialist since 1921. And it says White Castle right there. I was trying to find some information as to how old it is. I really don't no, it's not contemporary, but I don't think it's terribly old. It's in really excellent condition. There's no chips or cracks, and that'll be up in my Cup of Dilly shop. Probably I will list it for about anywhere from 16 to 18 with shipping included. It's not terribly valuable, but cute. It holds, it holds, I did measure it, it holds nine ounces. Okay, this is so cute. I found this little item and mainly the packaging is what drew me. It's completely complete, if that makes sense. I would say it's from the 60s, maybe even the early 70s. I don't know when it's from. I couldn't find a date on it, but very vintage font and packaging and I think it's a completely probably useless item that has no value at all. So I'll probably just use it for decor or I don't know, maybe I'll have to start a little section on my Etsy shop for, you know, five to $10 items. So it's this interesting thing called a candle vase. I did see other ones online. Look like they produced it over a number of years. Some are a little more, um, the box seems a little newer than this one, I would say the original candle vase. So what it is, is you take a candle. I guess I should get my candle. Hmm. Let me let me go get that. Well, I just have this giant candle, <laughs> this candle stick here. So you would take this little plastic item here and it goes around your, um, paper candle or uh, your, around your candle stick and then you can actually put water inside it's solid on the bottom and then you put flowers in it supposedly so you'd put it in like that and then you would put the flowers in it that somehow would um, would cover the base there so here is a little picture of it I would doubt that uh, it works that nicely, but um, it's just so funny. So here's the complete instructions there. It says something like, it's so easy with a range of discs. So it has a little, the little disc there that goes on top of it. I guess you don't have to have that if you don't want to. The original candle vase, it's so easy two candle vases and two arrange of discs. And indeed there are two of them. Here's the box once again. I just thought it was really funny. And I paid 99 cents for that. The original candle base. I like the turquoise box and the, the little gold, but not really writing. And you can see, made in the United States of America, where only we would think of something so inventive. Well, along with that uh, American plug there, I got this 
this little plate. It's by MWW Market, and I, I had never heard of them, and I, it's not vintage. And I did see that little sets of these, they made some cute little sets, mainly the sets were in four. I don't know where they sold these, maybe you know, but I liked this one. I did not see another one like this. This is a little celebratory stars and stripes, 4th of July firework show going on here. Um, there is some tiny, tiny little chips along the end here. And there's another one over here that I thought maybe I could just use that in a display. I have a couple things I've already picked up for 4th of July. So there's that. I got that at Goodwill. That was 99 cents. I like to, I like to buy these vintage ashtrays. I have a little collection of about five of them. I don't think I've listed any of them yet. I'm not sure why. They really, they make a nice coaster. This one is particularly cute. Poor Red's Barbecue um, in El Dorado, California, and it's got the little clover leaf there, shamrock, whatever you want to call it. This restaurant, I did look it up. It is still in business. Um, one of these ashtrays sold on eBay recently for $8 plus shipping. Um, here's my little federal glass, my federal glass juice glass. You can see it makes a cute little coaster. Um, they're nice if your kids are eating a lollipop, they can just set it in there. My husband uses one for his guitar picks. There are really many uses for them pick put your paper clips in there and put it on your desk and they often have just these really nice cool little vintage ads in them and i really enjoy that so there's lots of things you could do with vintage ashtrays besides smoking cigarettes and using it for that so that was also that was 99 cents with 25 percent off so it was only 75 cents excuse me Next, I have this, also from Goodwill, this little Japan Stein. This is a little hunting scene. You can see the mama there has her gun and well, she's shooting pheasants or something. I don't know what she's doing. The other side is a castle. Well, maybe it's not a castle. Some kind of city scene with the bridge and I really what I liked about this was I liked the little daisy de decoration along the side the handle is the tree trunk or branch these were very common made in Japan some had lids I don't I don't know if this one originally had a lid or not it's not too it's not very big I did see some other examples of this where the image was a little bit more nicely painted. This one's a little a little sloppy, but they don't sell for much at all. But I'll probably put that up in my Etsy shop for, you know, anywhere from eight to $10. And I also found this copper mold. This is a little bit older one. I think I had a rabbit or bunny like this that I already sold. I sold it right away after I put it up. I cannot remember what I sold it for. I will have to look it up. But then I found this little hen and she appears to be sitting in her nest. You don't really see her feet. So that's why I think that. There's the inside. She's in really wonderful condition. She might need a little cleaning up. You don't wanna get them too wet and rubbing or this little copper tint comes off but um, she has a little hook and there she is and let's see what next i found i found this at my nci shop i just went in there sometimes i run into the thrift store before i pick up my son for school and i might have only five or 10 minutes, but it's easy to just, it's on the way. So I just pull in if there's a spot and 
and run in and see what might be new. And I found this vintage Michelin card pack for 25 cents. And the little Michelin fellas there are, they're just really cute. I almost wish they were, well, I do wish they were bigger. And I don't know the age of these. They're not new. It says made in the USA right, right here. You can see that, but the box is in really pretty good condition. There's a little bit of creasing, and this is probably where there was some kind of, I'm even keeping it shut there, but the cards are brand, brand new, and they just have a really cute, colorful little images here. Here's the back. Those cute. Look at the the one-eyed Jack. He's pretty cute. So yeah, I probably will list those for five dollars. They do sell. I saw some that had sold online, and they sell anywhere from five to ten dollars. Cute. Oh, I left something out of my candle vase there. Put it back. This I also found at the Goodwill. It's a tiny little, either a souvenir type pitcher or a little individual creamer. It's, I don't believe it's a restaurant creamer. It's just a little porcelain Japan gold around the top. But I liked that fish. I think it might be a sunfish, the way they kind of flatten like that. I'm not too sure. Can you even see this guy? He's really cute. I like the colors, the, the red and yellow and blue. I like those colors together. And he would be cute for a little cocktail pick holder or toothpick holder. Yeah, so he was 99 cents. Again, a little souvenir, doo -doo. Cape Cod, little croc. No marking on the bottom. I have a drink tray set that I have listed and I will probably toss that in um, for the buyer of this, of that. I'll toss this in to go with that. Here's some little coffee stirs or cocktail stirs too. Yeah. Okay, what am I gonna show you next? These, here, I'm gonna show you this. My husband is a big Sharks hockey fan, and when I saw this, I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to get that for him. This is Joe Thornton, who plays on the San Jose Sharks out in California. He was recently retained to the team. I'm not a sports fan myself, so I can't really tell you more than that. He's completely unused. Ch -ch 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 Chia. Here's his name. And his seeds are in there, and his instructions, and the little under plate. I was surprised. I'm always surprised by sometimes the things that sell. So people do buy these. Sports fans like their collections of anything they can get their hands on. So they sell anywhere from $10 to $20. And that would kind of pay for my little haul here. I paid, I don't know, I have my receipt, but I left it. Um, I think I paid $2.99 for him. But my husband may decide to take him 
and grow him up in his classroom. So there's that. Oops, here's my receipt. Oh, I found this at the Salvation Army. Let's put... I remember my mom having a napkin holder like this. It's that um, coated wire. And I thought this one was cute. The green flower it would be cute for a little spring table. Something like that. You could also put your letters in it. I don't know when they made these, 70s, 80s. Yeah, I'll probably list that for a couple bucks. Sorry I keep looking in the wrong place. I'm still learning, so yeah. It's a process. These, I'm trying not to buy plates right now because I have so many, they don't sell very quickly. They're heavy and hard to ship and being all the way out in California, it's hard to price them so that everyone finds a happy medium. These are large Mikasa country store plates, international, and this is the old homestead. And they made these only between 1974 and 75. They made others of this line, Kissing Cousins and some strawberry ones. This is a nice, large, heavy plate. Is it that right side up there? Let's see, I got my ruler to measure it out here. Yeah, this is, this is an 11 inch dinner plate. And isn't it cute? It's like a little needlepoint look I think it's supposed to mimic. And it's the homestead. Mama's got her little flower pot and Papa's out there plowing the field. See the little homestead in the background. I like the little pink accents kind of break up that 70s avocado green and brown color. Anyway, these are really cute. Made in Japan, oven, dishwasher, and microwave safe. So I hope you like those, I did. And I will be listing those. Those sell between five and $10 a plate. So they, they're a good, good profitable item. I paid $1.39 for each of them. Let me have another sip of my juice. All right, then I was very happy to find a little Pyrex, which I don't often see. I just cannot find Pyrex in the wild here to save my life. Little custard dishes and opalware, things like that. Oh, forget a lid, forget a Pyrex lid. I just can't find lids to go with anything. So I was happy to see this laying on the corner. I don't know if someone picked it up and set it down or if they just put out their carts and somebody just set it there. It's kind of how you have to get it, you know, around here. It's just not plentiful. So it's a little spring blossom, which I really like. This lid did not come with it. And this was, um, what was this little, this is a 502 refrigerator dish. I think it, I paid, I can't remember, $1.99 or $2.99. I cannot remember. It's in excellent condition. There's no chips or cracks. And it is clean as a whistle. There was a little mark like a utensil mark, like it had rubbed up against a pot or pan or something like that. And I just used a little peek and it came right off. Um, yeah, there was a little wear to some of the flowers here, but that is not at all unusual. And it's just a little bit more, but you can see the light coming through. There's not it doesn't have a lot of scratching or anything like sometimes they do, which is typical and still in good condition. And here's the little logo here. Not sure if you can see it. This is an Arcarok lid that I have for something else, but it fits it perfectly. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it or list it. This is the little fridgy dish that the Arcarok lid goes to. So that's that. And I had, I did find this, 
spring blossom or crazy daisy dish a long time ago and I've just had it up on my shelf. This is a 501 Fridgy dish, so wouldn't it be cute to kind of get the collection? I have a bowl listed in my Etsy shop, a mixing bowl. Um, I, I don't mind these pieces, even though they're, they're a little bit beyond the era which I collect. My house is old. It was built in 1910, maybe even earlier. But I do have a, what I call a jadeite green kitchen backsplash and a green in my counter. So it does, it does work. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I should do with that dish. I'll probably hang on to it and see if I can get some more. Unless anyone's dying to have it. They sell well, of course, Pyrex. And it's really cute. I really just want to find things with lids and I just have a hard time. I think that might be everything. I have a couple things that my mom gave me that I won't be listing. They're just not in good condition, um, but they're really cute. So here's a couple little, they're little hand towels, dish towels that you might hang in your kitchen or your bathroom. I actually use things like this for curtains in my bathroom. I have, like I said, an old house. So I just have them hanging with clothespins over a rod and they end up looking really, really cute. Right now I have pillowcases in there, which are really cute. So these are badly um, molded or have mold on them. So this still has the little label on them, pure cotton linen, cotton embroidery. So I was discussing this with my mom and trying to decide whether these were um, made in the factory or if someone hand stitched them. To me, they looked hand stitched because when you look at the back, you can kind of see that. So I don't know if they're hand stitched and then sold like that, or if they're partly stitched or if they're for linen for embroidery. I wonder if anyone knows, I, I don't really know. And then the tabbing on the bottom, I'm almost sure was added by, these belong to my great aunts. I'm almost sure that was added by them. Really cute. So, I don't know. They're, like I said, they're not really in a condition for sale. Here's another one. This one, this was a kind of an unusual, it's kind of that more satin linen, but it has a little, can you see, it's got like a little fish scene on it there and I guess that's supposed to be a little kelp bed. <laughs> anyway, this is really pretty but um, it's in really bad condition. So this was a little applique. Yeah. So that is everything I have. Thank you for sharing with me and stopping by. I hope we can do some more of these soon. Please like, share, leave a comment, subscribe so you can know when I have new videos coming out. I have, I have some ready to post, so talk for now.